Howdy and hello folks, my name is Christian Sasser, but you can call me MH4 or Oopsie Poopsie, I lost a bet. Way back in ye olden days of I made a bet with my buddy Doroken that Porky from Earthbound would be added as DLC to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And in 2021, I was proven incorrect by No! We lost! Now I know what you're thinking, MH4, why do we care about this bet? Why does it matter that you lost? Well, this wasn't an ordinary wager. The thing we were wagering wasn't money. It was my integrity. In my 17-year-old hubris and genius, I confidently spouted that if Porky didn't join Smash, I would write a two-paragraph fanfiction shipping Crash Bandicoot and Steven Universe. Huh? Doro held me to it and agreed that if Porky did get added, he'd be the one to write the fanfiction instead. And all we could do at that point was wait. Keep in mind, this was right after Min Min was added to the game. Back then, I was dead set that no spirits at all were gonna be added to the game. I was one of the many, many losers who cared way too much about Smash Bros. speculation. Just look at this paragraph explaining <laughs> why Porky will be added. This bullcrap took up way too much of my headspace. Fast forward a few months and HOLY CRAP IT'S STEVEN H MINECRAFT! Time skip again and HOLY CRAP A NAKED GUY! After Sephiroth came along and then we got ah! and finally I will never forgive Mario for doing this and just like that my dreams were dashed and I knew what I had to do. Of course like any good college student I've been procrastinating heavily on this assignment but in that time between then and now I've discovered a horrible truth. Steven's a minor. This whole time, this entire time, like two years, I thought that Steven was at least 18 in Steven Universe future. And it gets even worse when you look at Crash's age. So to avoid writing a crime thriller, we went with the much funnier option of having Crash shipped with Greg Universe instead. <laughs> Great thinking, Dora. So now exactly one year after Sora's trailer first dropped, I'm here to fulfill my promise. Breaking promises is for politicians and video game release dates, and as far as I can tell, I'm not one of those. I'm a man of my word, darn it. And after this video goes live, I'm probably a man of an FBI watch list. So without further ado, I present to you, dear viewer, Crash Bandicoot x Greg Universe. Greg sat in the back of his ramshackle yet reliable van with a strange creature he had met only a few months ago, an orange bipedal bandicoot that called itself Crash. With no outside noise but the idling of his van's engine to guide his thoughts, Greg looked into Crash's wild eyes and stared deeply into them, the dim moonlight that gently filtered through the van's windshield glimmering throughout Crash's wide, crazed expression. Greg and Crash had gotten to know each other incredibly well after the Crystal Gems rescued Crash from a transdimensional monstrosity, with Greg having been assigned to watch over the marsupial while the gems were away doing their typical gem business. Being with Crash made Greg feel the way he hadn't felt since he first saw Rose all those years back. And he knew that acting upon those feelings could, just like with Rose, lead to something strange and beautiful blossoming. Hey, uh, Greg sputtered, breaking the comfortable silence. Crash, there's something I've been meaning to ask you about. Crash turned his attention from the moonlit ocean to Greg, seemingly not noticing his tongue cartoonishly flopping against his face. His inquisitive face said it all. No words were needed to express his interest in Greg's inquiry. Greg carefully shoved his hand into a pile of supposedly dirty t-shirts and rummaged through it for a short moment before pulling out a quaint box adorned in a velvet as deep as blue as the ocean they were parked adjacent to. With the box in hand, Greg repositioned himself, no longer sitting with his legs crossed but now kneeling on a single leg directly in front of Crash. Greg offered the box forward and opened it towards Crash, revealing a ring within it. The ring itself had a wide band, and the comically oversized gemstone protruding from it glimmered in an impossibly robust gradient, transitioning from orange to lime green. Crash Bandicoot, Greg Universe blushed as he spoke the words he knew in his heart of hearts that he must, his confidence being overtaken by his anxiousness. Will you drive your van into my heart? Crash's jaw was agape at the proposition, his eyes welling up with tears of ecstasy. Within this whirlwind of emotion, this equal blend of euphoria and stupefaction, Crash's overwhelmed heart and mind could only muster a single word to escape from his lips. Whoa. <laughs> Look, sorry if I seem frustrated. I've already recorded this script once the entire way through and I accidentally recorded the whole thing as a time lapse, so I'm kind of agitated. 